5.55 Tarot Q&A Tuesday. We are sprucing it up a bit, changing the times around, trying to find out what works for you all. Probably 9 o'clock at night, which is not going to be my ideal time. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is Tuesday and I love today because we get to do Tarot Q&A Tuesday. So today what we're going to do is start off with Linda's questions. She's got a few questions about her work and weekends events coming up and all that jazz and then we're going to launch into the group reading that is the collective reading for all who happen to be watching you know how it rolls most of you the replay is good for those who haven't made it so they can receive this guidance as well someone's got their Aaron can you please turn your um, mute your microphone off so we can't hear you cooking dinner <laughs> or eating dinner for that matter <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, let's just get into Linda. Linda, we want do you want to know whether this shop is going to be a success? Now, not knowing what Linda's up to these days, I don't know too much about the shop, but we're just gonna tune into the whole vibration of it because everything is energy, right? If you don't know that, you do now. Hello, Aaron. Hey John, nice to have you on board as well. And we have Susie. Good to see you too. Okay, let me just see. Linda, Linda, is this shop going to take off? Is the shop going to take off? Okay, this card here. Oh, it, it certainly is. I actually feel that this shop, whatever you're, you are doing, it feels that it will bring out your creativeness and really help you to feel that you are in your, your queendom, your personal power. I think it's going to be very good for you emotionally. So you wanted to also know what was going to happen this weekend with an event whether that was going to run smoothly whether things were going to go according to your plan or thereabouts so we're just going to get a vibe on this weekend's events linda and I wouldn't say 100% what I am feeling is there may be need to be a slight new direction. Linda, is this related to your business at all? Because I'm just going to change your vision here. Is it related to your business? Yeah, so I'm not thinking this is the best... I mean, the best thing for it, there'll be more good stuff that will help your business to move forward. It seems like taking a different direction. Uh, yeah, it's something that you you have to, are you looking forward to this, this event? It doesn't, you are? I think there'll be other things in the future that will be more beneficial for whatever you're doing, but it's not that it's bad. Like, I mean, is it bad? Let's just see, is it? Is there something bad? No, nothing bad. It's just, no, it's not necessarily the be all and end all, if that makes sense. Do you have any other questions around that before we move into the group thing? Okay, we are going to whip into the collective consciousness. So what is it that we all need to hear right now? I love this part because I get to play my role as well and get a little bit of an insight for myself because, you know, we're all um, needing a little bit of guidance at this time. There is some crazy energy in the world and we need to sometimes just get grounded and get our ducks in the row, but our head's too busy for us to be able to see the wood for the trees. So what do we all need to hear right now? Those who are watching this particular episode. Right. Okay. We're going to have two cards for this. What did I just say? What did I just say? Too much in our heads. Okay, so here is the story for the collective conscious reading for today. Everyone who's watching, this is for you. We have here the Queen of Cups. Now this relates to men and women. This is a beautiful emotional feminine energy. And when I say emotional, that does not necessarily mean victim. Oh, I'm crying my eyes out. I'm so upset. It means in touch with emotions and feelings. So there is a blend here of connecting with our feminine energies, our feminine emotions that can 
help us to manage situations in life. Some might say this is calling in the divine feminine energy. And there's two parts to this, as there usually is for the collective stuff. One is either tapping into your divine feminine energy. The other is taking a look at your inner child stuff. Now, if you look closely on the Queen of Cups card, you can see there's this little child in the in sort of as an emblem an emblem an emblem within the throne so those who are learning tarot at the moment just might note to take note of that sort of thing but the second aspect of this is the thinking that i was referring to before this dude is in bed and he's like overthinking so much that he's just making things worse for himself all of these swords represent thoughts and words and ideas now when we're in bed and we can't stop getting those whirly whirly twirly ideas coming to us sometimes we can make them seem worse than they actually are and so all of these extra swords up here are, are the thoughts that are really redundant so what that means is to feel into your more caring nature for yourself now let me explain this because i'm waffling a little bit here when we have a lot in our mind, tune into the way you're feeling and just be with your body to get out of your head. Also, also allow yourself, if this is you, when you're overthinking and keeping yourself up at night, to just feel into your body as you lie there going to sleep. In fact, this would be good for all of us. Instead of lying there thinking about the day, if you're one that doesn't fall asleep in five seconds, Feel into the pillow, feel into how the pillow feels, feel your breath, allow yourself to hear any sounds. It's simply a mindfulness practice that helps you come out of your head, our head, all of our heads, and into the body, which therefore calms down the central nervous system and allows us to relax into a slumber. So it's very much a encouragement of coming into the feelings of our body and our experience rather than too much in our head. Now this does come up a lot of times when I'm doing these tarot Q&A Tuesdays, we're always banging on about too many thoughts, but it is probably a bit of an epidemic out there in the world these days. Most humans overthink and this is the problem, they're disconnected from their heart and soul and that's why I help people to tune in more to their body and their their soul and their absolute essence. As a couple of you on here know, you're going to be doing the 21 day Nurture Your Souls Challenge starting on the 8th, that's less than a week away. I hope you're excited, eh Linda? <laughs> so anyone else who wants to join, just message me after this session. So who else has a question for me today? I will be pulling one for Lisa. She is not watching, she's in Australia, but we will be pulling her a card. She just wants a card to know, she just loves to get a card, to be honest. We always like a little bit of fun in the day as well, right? So that's what you can use the tarot for. You don't have to have a deep, scary, gloomy, you know, hot com uh, question. You can simply ask for, what do you need to hear right now? What do I need to hear right now? What does Lisa need to hear right now? Lisa. Lisa, this is Lisa D, by the way, not Lisa K, in case you're going to get yourselves mixed up. <laughs> you know what, Lisa, it's time to get out into the community and connect with what is going on. What is the buzz? What's happening around you in the, like, it, can you join some community functions, some well-being for, like, helping out? I'm not saying you need to go and pick up rubbish and litter for the, for the city, but, you know, I'm thinking it's feeling into how you can be of service to your community at this time. And my gut says that this is also a time where you'll meet some kindred spirits and make a friend or two. Linda's Linda. Lisa is, uh, has moved, moved cities, so that would be relevant for her, wouldn't it? Hello, Mimi. Erin... B, not Aaron F, Aaron B. <laughs> Any card that falls out would be nice. Okay, Richard, you're next. Aaron B, what does Aaron need to hear right now? Oh, Aaron. Well, this fell out, all right? Did you see that it literally just fell out? I tell you, it comes up every time. It's like I'm banging on about the same thing. 
So it is encouraging you to get out of the head. Stop overthinking and, you know, tune into your heart. Not so much your heart, just stop overthinking, actually. But to stop too much thinking. Let's get, a, let's get an extra one for you, Aaron, because we've just been told that already, haven't we, through the group card. The, this is a nice card. Okay, this card is all about somebody who really is doing a profession that they enjoy, yet there's growth in the profession. And I feel this for you, Aaron. It's not the first time I felt this for you. In fact, it was where I feel that there's just some baby steps that you can expand your business. I know that you're very good at what you do and you love what you do. Whether it's building and adding people, like more stuff, some staff or not this feels like a time to follow your instincts not think about how the business is going to go but follow those spontaneous inspi inspiring ideas do you know can't get my words out today can i what does that mean pull myself a card <laughs> um all right richard i'll just go back to look at what yours is my health going to improve drastically in the next few weeks richard is that richard's card that was I won't even tell you what card that was. Richard. <clears throat> hey guys on Instagram, if you are there, can you please give me a heart? Can you give me a thumbs up? Because I'd love to be able to see who is there who I've missed when I finish this reading for this evening. It'd be lovely. I'd appreciate your love since, you know, giving you a bit of my own. Okay. Richard, Richard, Richard. Richard, one of these cards is for you, representing is your health going to improve soon? I'm feeling we need more information for you than just that. So, <laughs> you're going through a tricky time, eh, Richard? Everything feels a bit challenging. <sighs> I'll show you. These cards represent a new idea and seeing things from a new perspective, generally. They're not a strong yes answer if you're asking the cards for a yes or no. These are a maybe. This is a maybe. But I know that's not what you want to know, so we will talk deeper into what this means. This is a new idea. This is a fresh start. This is the inspiration that you need to look at this main idea that's going on in your life from a new perspective. Is it work? Is it play? Is it health? Is it love? Love life. Love life. Love life. Is love life on your mind, Richard? Because mm, that's, a, that's a curly one, isn't it? But that is, correct, that is the correct answer for you. The Yeah, um, excuse me for over delivering on the words. This might be a bit personal, but it's kind of like you need a hug, Richard. So maybe that's how you can, yeah, just feel that, obvious, you know, hugs, physical touch is super important for our health, right? We cannot survive without human touch, or at least a dog's cuddle now and then, which I know I've had to survive on many, many, many months at time. <laughs> so, yeah, let me know, Richard. Richard, you should be on Zoom. You've got the link. Anyway, coolness. Who else is talking to me? Hi, Jeremy. How's the trip going? Breezes Christ Superstar, will I find love soon? Well, we love a good love card. We love a good love card. So let's get into this one. What's your first name? Sorry. Not sorry, please. <laughs> Breezes Christ Superstar. Well, well, it's broad. How soon is soon? But we will see what answer we can get. Or what's blocking the love, perhaps. Person. Well, I've got the New Beginnings card, so you'd probably want to take that as a yes, since you asked a simple yes or no question. 
it does also indicate that it's time to be more of your authentic self. So in a new relationship, it would be encouraged that you perhaps approach things a little bit differently and practice a little bit of vulnerability. This doesn't mean sharing your woes. It means being in emotional in touch with your emotions, which came up as the group collective card as well. This dude in here is a skeleton, and the skeleton in this card represents your authentic self, which is basically our soul without the ego, without all the conditioning, without the labels that we've been told to play, and all the ways of doing life that a man made. This is about being able to express your feelings. So an example of that would be like if you just had an argument with your mother before you turned up on a date, you could say, instead of saying, I'm sorry, my mother, she's such a, blah, 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 blah. Um, she always does this to me. You would instead say, oh, I'm, excuse me, I'm just feeling a little bit left of center. I've, I've actually got a bit hurt, um, had a confrontation with, you know, somebody I care about. Different approach, right? And that way that person can probably relate to you and be there for you and then you feel heard and you can move on. Sometimes people are not sure how to express their emotions and that is one of the most challenging things in a relationship that's not going well. It's usually how they express themselves from the experience I've had working with um, couple therapy with my clients. Okay, Jezza, someone didn't let me into the Zoom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There you are, you're in. Rightio. <laughs> Ask your question, Jeremy, as I find the next one. Excuse me, guys. Jeremy, please turn your microphone off. <laughs> All right. Now, there is one other person that I'm trying to remember who that was. Sarah. Sarah, just wanting to know is this new, it's another love card, but it's not a relationship yet. It's just, this card just flew out. We're going to go with it. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. So if you're wondering if this is going to be a beautiful relationship for you, it just feels like give and take. It feels home. It feels like family. It feels that it's a very caring to just, yeah, I would just say give and take, really. And and fam the family vibe comes up. It just feels, I'll repeat myself, it feels like home. So have your fingers crossed, but you probably don't need to. I feel quite good about it for you. So carry on dating that dude, Zara. Hello, Jeremy. Nice to see your face. <laughs> Do you have a question? Which I'm tuning into your energy anyway, so you better... Pull one out for me. Oh, throwing things out. I'll see if that one comes up again. That was the king of love that fell out there, Jeremy. Is that you? <laughs> you would think so, right? Okay. Cleb, before we finish, I will pull you a card too, because it's great to have you online here, since it's your first time. Jeremy, is that Jeremy's card on top? Are you in the, in the time of making a decision at the moment, Jeremy? Is there something that you're at a crossroads about? Yes, no? Yeah, okay. To the answer to that is, because that's basically I asked you that because I got the Two of Swords, which is where you just feel blind to which way to go. It's like a crossroads is exactly how I've explained it. Jeremy, 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 Jeremy. Do we need more information for you? What? Do you want to ask more specific question, Jeremy, to get more clarity on that? Sorry, guys. I haven't seen the chat box. I've just realized that I've missed that. Um, all over the show. Jeremy, can you ask more specific, please? Well, meanwhile, Aaron... This Aaron. <laughs> Aaron F. Aaron F. Aaron F. Now, you guys, it'd be great if you had some Christians. It makes it more interesting for those watching, doesn't it? <laughs> Rather than just the pull of cards. It's this Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. 
Hmm. This could be seen two ways, Erin. Lovers. Funnily enough, the lovers card in the tarot does not always mean lovers. It's all about duality and polarity and really seeing two sides of every scale. Understanding that there is extremes of the same thing. That means... I've talked about this before too. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So what do, what do you need to know about this? This is funny balance from the funny balance from But in this case, Erin, I feel it is actually about you connecting with that someone. Not not pushing towards anything, just act the same beautiful kind and loving way that you would if they were your partner you know what I mean eh? are you okay with that meaning the relate that the don't have expectations about the relationship being a love relationship instead just be the love anyway be the loving kind person treat them as if you would treat them if they were your partner not in the obvious ways that you wouldn't but you know sometimes we only want to give if we're getting back and that is a huge block right yes correct um our oh, studies or profession jeremy wants to that was the decision that Jeremy's trying to make okay do you do more study do you do more study is that question no just stick with the do you stick with your profession so oh my god I got the same card again um It's coming up extremely strong to step forward into some a new world, into new studies. This was keep doing what you're doing, a strong no. Also happened to be the same card I picked for you as the first card. So it is like taking a new direction with something that you're more passionate about and stepping forward into a new land. That's a big shift, isn't it? Are you excited about that? Yes! Yes, no. <laughs> Melissa, you were the first on and you're the last to be read. That is so not fair, is it? But that's life sometimes, right? It's not always fair. So we want to know what your question... Oh, do you have a question even? Or are you just saying hello? Hello to everyone. Alrighty. Alrighty, guys. Should we pull Melissa a question? <laughs> Melissa, she might be. Oh, cool, Jeremy. Starting Masters Monday. Perfect. Hello. You're doing the right thing. That's amazing. I love a good bit of up-leveling. And, yeah, that's perfect for you. Okay. Melissa, if you are still alive and kicking there, we are going to pull you a card. We'd love a question specifically, but... Since you've been hanging out so long, we're just going to give you some love anyway. Oh, this might be a t more of a per... I don't want to say anything that should be confidential, but I am asking you about a father figure, father image in your life that... If there's anything rocky going on with that or if there's anything relating to that from past, it is now time to move from rough waters to karma seas by shifting your perception, your mindset around what happened and oozing into... I just feel some need for forgiveness, love and compassion around somebody that has represented... It could be a father, but it could be somebody with that masculine authority you know it's like a, it's an older masculine influence so that would just why would you, you want to hear that right now well it's just an opportunity to shed some emotional baggage that we all have all of us have emotional baggage that we need to slowly unwrap from our heart because it literally blocks our light 
And that's why I encourage people to remove layers of our conditioning that can literally just hold us back in life. Okay, I'm going to have to love and leave you now, guys, because, uh, oh, hold that thought. Divine light and balance. Well, there's an ideal name for the tarot, isn't it? Hi, I would like to know if we're going to sell our house and buy a new one soon. What's your first name, Divine Light and Balance? Oh, is that her card? That card just flew out. Mm, okay, we're just going to, whoa, oh, we're just getting them jumping out all over the show. It's actually not looking favorable, I have to say, to not so favorable cards. However, that is, I'm getting a five. So does that mean five months? Because five weeks would probably be quite soon, wouldn't it? But five is the, five is the number that's calling out. And is there anything that you need to do in order to help this sale? I don't think so. I think feel that it's just divine timing. And the market, is there anything you should do? Yeah, the market is just going, you know what? It feels a bit annoying that you might not sell it in the time frame that you do, but you'll be getting a better price when you sell it in that five whatever that five means alrighty guys do you know what I'm starting something super exciting in a few weeks it's called cosmic consulting and we're gonna be here on Thursday oh, I haven't decided Wednesday or Thursday yet probably seven o'clock so people that have got daytime jobs can join as well and we are going to be using the tarot but it's going to be more about a message from the divine about what we need to hear to make our way during some of the chaos that the entire world is presented with so it's very deep and meaningful although of course we'll have a bit of fun doing it it's really just unpacking the the energy of the world and allowing us to see the deeper insights so that we can really enjoy our time rather than be in stress more of the time that makes sense so cosmic consulting 7 p.m starting in september spring wednesday or thursday should i do it wednesday or thursday guys oh hi kids aaron's kids hi hi i wish I, yeah uh wednesday or thursday for cosmic consulting 7 p.m what would work for you let me know in the chat hey everyone on instagram please give me a like or before you go I'm seeing you off now and stay there everyone on zoom we'll have a quick chat and love you all bye ah oh, tarot sorry guys on zoom this is always takes longer than planned doesn't it Tarot, when you try and do things, oh, I'm just here on tarot. Okay, that'll do. So, if you want to have a chat, turn your turn your mic on. If anyone's got anything they'd like to share or requests, confusion. No. Okay. <laughs> Every what was that, Linda? <laughs> oh, Claire! Claire, I forgot to pull Claire a card. Are you still there, Claire? Sorry, Claire. I did say that. Oh my God. Sorry, guys. I feel like that was just a shambles tonight. No, it was fine. Not really, eh? I don't know why I couldn't speak. Maybe it's, maybe I'm meant to do it at 4.44. Um, anyway, you got, yeah. so Linda, yeah, just to clarify, it feels like, uh, yeah, I just feel that, what is this event you've got? Um, it is a Thermomix collab with Pepper and me at the shop, doing like an interactive cooking session. Just trying to bring people into the shop to start. Yeah, so I don't even know what the shop is, so can you... Um, yeah, Replenish Papamo, it's a um, bulk whole foods refill store. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, I, I, it, 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 I feel it can be better. Maybe to me, just getting into the vibe of it. Um, are you doing anything to promote it on social media? Yeah, yeah, it's gone out there. How much is it? Have you paid for oh, stuff? Yeah, well, Uno Magazine are promoting it as well oh. because the editor is helping with it. Um, and the Pepper and Me wholesale manager is also helping us to promote it, plus on our own Instagram and Facebook pages. So. Yeah, it's a good idea. Mm. It's kind of one of those things, a little, it's not like Tarot or Chikuno Tuesday, but it is in the way that it takes a bit of time to get momentum. Yeah. Yeah, that's just kind of the, the but I, it's, it's like it's some to depends how much energy you have to and time and money you have to put into it to do it each week because it'd be great to have it as more of a regular thing than a one-off wouldn't it mm, yeah but hey they're getting mulled wine and food so can't yeah what day is it i'll be there <laughs> <laughs> saturday this week oh yeah? yeah can you please send me the details i will yeah i've got a girlfriend coming to stay for the weekend too so we yeah, can yeah. go and do that all the merry will be fun super fun Okay, now uh, Claire, I keep going to call you Charlotte, Claire, because of what, how your name looks. Claire's message looks terrible, doesn't it? It's not. It's not. It it is all well. There's many ways you can read it, but the main way is to say surrender, just to let it go. Right. Once again, these are swords, so all about words and thoughts. So I can say, let go of the thoughts or let go of some situation that's been got significantly going on, challenging you, making you feel like you've been stabbed in the back and just, just don't think about it anymore. You've just got to let it go and start a new chapter. It's a 10, which is the end of a cycle and opportunity to start a new chapter. And in fact, now that I've hidden that card away, I can't show you, but the, it is actually of somebody with a lot of swords in their back. So it can be when people are being a bit bitchy and backstabbing, but it also just me, it's a sign to dust yourself off, pick yourself up and get back on that horse and don't take no bullshit from no one. Oh, I always get, do you know what the joke is about this ramble tonight? Is that finally it appears that all my technology is actually working. And every other week, every other day, <laughs> someone always cracks up. This time it was me. <laughs> I, have a, I have an odd question. Yeah. Playing to what your, um, your card. If I'm giving my energy to this other specific person, she's got her casual person which means I'm giving unnecessary energy for no reason. <laughs> no, but you've already got her. Yeah, but it feels good to give love though, right? Yeah, it's... but it's unnecessary. She's already getting it. <laughs> Aaron, <laughs> um, that's what I'm saying. We're you can be a good friend to multiple people when you can, you know, it's just, that's the message. It's just to be the guy that you would be in a communicative sense if you were in a relationship. Which is just being a kind, loving person. It doesn't mean that you have to, you know, take care of... I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's kind of unnecessary from sharing all that to that one person and she's already got her casual person. Like, Who else needs like... that? When you give love to another, you simultaneously give love to yourself. Okay. I get you. <laughs> Hello, Melissa. <laughs> uh, yeah. Any thoughts, words, Melissa? Your your microphone is off. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering if I can have a little bit more clarity on what you said. Yeah, because you're. I was like, oh. By it. What's that? <laughs> I'm a little bit confused by it. Perhaps. So, um, what's your rela first of all, it would be an easier question to say, what's your relationship like with your father? Fine. Fine? It's good. Okay. Um, is there any... Okay, that's cool. It is... It's... Um, okay, I'm just going to... I just feel... 
I can't remember what else I said about it now because I've Is he supportive of you? Are you you you're in business for yourself? You're not going into business. You work for yourself already, right? Yeah. Is he yeah, trying to build up my business. Yeah. yeah. Is he supportive of that? Half and half. Yeah. So that is that's where there's some communication that because he could actually be quite helpful as well. Just another way. I think I feel there's just a conversation that needs to be had around feeling. empowered and accepted for being the chosen path so here's here's the woman in business which I pulled the, the father card before it's not a big deal it's just as I said it's just tying it's just polishing up your beautiful life so that you can let your passions bloom okay it's nice when you feel you've got people holding you back holding yeah, holding definitely. your having your back I mean yeah. and I just feel that he's he doesn't understand what you do he's a farmer and he's in his 70s so he's an older one yeah. and set in his ways and what I'm doing um photography um he it's not a physical job and you know he's one of those old school people where you know, you've got to work hard for your money sort of thing. And I think he doesn't think what I'm doing is enough. 100%. Which it is, of course. So mm. not that it matters what other people think. However, it is a gift to them to broaden their horizons as well when they can understand or when and when he can understand you more. It, it ultimately builds the connection and then you can share your excitement and passion with him. Yeah. Okay. I that know it's a random one. It just came out of the blue. <laughs> but I feel you do need that in your business at the moment anyway, just so that you've got that quiet support in the background because yeah. it automatically just it changes the, your subconscious slowly, mm. slowly, slowly, and you feel more self-belief. Yeah. I mean, I think that's, that's where I'm stepping at the moment is... I'm trying to decide on if I go back to being an ECE teacher or continue to put my all into my photography business because I know that he would much prefer me to go back to ECE work, but that's not where my passion lies. No, now. I feel 100% that you need to be doing photography eventually full-time, but it's just a few stages that uh, are requiring more clarity and work to, like, like, that's not the tarot, that's, I mean, I'm getting it from the tarot, but it's, Obvious. It's not. It's just normal steps of getting ducks in a row and yeah. really having the plan of PR and marketing and yeah. but a, a few comps, etc., so that people know what you do, and then you've got more collateral and more testimonials. Yeah. Not that yeah. I. Cool. Thank you. That makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but it's good to have you on Zoom because then we can actually just okay. get more time to talk about it. In fact, these conversations might be more helpful if we're actually having them live as well because they – that's why I want to talk more with each people on the Zoom when I get – more. So just yeah. small yeah, I yeah. cool. um, But I'm still juggling the Zoom myself because <laughs> – <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just like everything, you got to learn something new, don't you? But I'm doing it, even if I keep making mistakes. It's a good lesson for all of us out there. Keep going. That's right. Mistakes are, mistakes are you know, human. Life. Human. Yeah, human. All right. I'm sending all my love and heaps of light so that you can all radiate your beautiful heart's essence on your own and for others. See you next week. Same time, 5.55 next week.